Hey guys, John here again from Rock County Jet Ski, Watcon.com. Welcome to Watercraft Talk. Today I'd like to read you an email that we got from Jeremy. Jeremy is asking about what is the best impeller, impeller pitch for his super jet. Jeremy, I'm glad you asked. We get this question quite often, and unfortunately it's a difficult question to answer with just a random number. There's many different impeller types um, that make a difference in impeller pitches. Um, your weight, your jet pump setup, your exit nozzle, and ultimately your engine horsepower will all make a difference in what we recommend for impeller pitch numbers. On the bench here, I've got uh, four different types of impellers, and I'd like to go over these and, and talk about uh, numbers in relation to the design and type of the impeller. The first impeller is an old school, soulless, what we call a straight blade impeller. It is a small hubbed impeller. For a stock superjet, soulless in this type of impeller, their IJK series, they want a 14.5 or 14518 pitch. Next we have a Solus Concord. This is a small hub impeller. Uh, a little more blade overlap on this and hooks up better. This is a Solus Concord large hub impeller. Um, again, more blade overlap and because of the large hub on this creates more pump pressure which loads your engine more, thus we need a lower pitch um, for the same application. For instance, a large hub Solus impeller in a stock Superjet, we would run a 1218, where this one is a 14518. It's quite a difference to get the same results. Scat Track has a large hub swirl impeller as well. These work very well. They load the engine hard, and because of that, Scat wants a 1217 or even a 1016 for a stock application for the same results. If you're talking hooker, um, Impros has a hooker impeller, which is very much like this, swirl design, lots of blade overlap, they hook very hard, and because of that, same application, we would run probably a 915. With that, I'd like to talk a little bit about numbers and, and how people talk that they want bottom end. Uh, everybody says they want bottom end. If you are a, a, a lake rider, riding your super jet around the lake, chasing boats, jumping boat waves, etc., you really don't want bottom end, you want mid-range. When you're up on plane, moving forward, you're in the mid-range area. This will not be a common or a popular uh, opinion of mine. Everybody on the internet says Hooker 915, Hooker 915 is the greatest impeller for a super jet. Although it's a very good impeller and we like it and we've used it, I find it works great in a, in a stock Superjet or maybe even a 650 powered square nose Superjet, we like it very well. If you have any amount of power uh, on, your, on your ski, i.e. Uh, an aftermarket head, some timing, maybe ignition, uh, factory pipe, etc., we really prefer uh, a Hooker 1016. I find the 915 hits hard on the bottom and it kind of signs off and falls flat in the mid-range and doesn't pull at all on the top end. The 1016 pulls good on the bottom end, mid-range, and top end where most people are actually truly riding. True bottom end, if you're a freestyle guy doing multiple tricks, uh, combination tricks, you do a 180 hop into a backflip, into a backflip, into a 180 hop, into a backflip, etc. You're not really moving forward, you're hopping around, you truly want bottom end. That's the real deal there. Most lake riders, recreational riders, you really want mid-range. For mid-range, we really like these Solus Concords or Hooker's, Impor, uh, Hooker's uh, Impro's Hooker 1016. Works very well. Jeremy, I hope that helps clear up your question. I really thank you for the email and everybody else as well. Please hit the subscribe button, like, take, share, and follow, and hopefully we'll see you out in the water.